with the acupuncture meridians in Chinese medicine, there is two types of organs. There's eliminatory organs like bowels, like large intestine and lungs, and then there is the yin organs which have to do with how it is that you produce energy or chi. So the air that you breathe in and the essence that you take off of food is part of what allows for you to make energy in the body, ATP. And these meridians are connected to both eliminatory organs and organs that actually help you produce energy in the body. So generally you'll find that on the back of the body there's meridians here that have to do with bladder channel. We see here the large intestine meridian here that runs back through the shoulder. Also we have small intestine. And then what happens is, is that on the front side we see that there's channels that run through the arm that have to do with heart and pericardium and lung. These are called the yin meridians that connect with these organs. And the yang meridians will usually be on the back side of the body, not usually, they are. So once again, each one of these channels connects with an organ, impacts its function, or as the function goes awry, people will develop symptomology along that channel. So meaning, an individual could have a problem in their digestive tract and that possibly create a problem in their hip or in their leg because the energy that feeds that digestive system in order to keep it balanced has gone awry and blocked the flow of chi or energy. We need to go upstream and find out what the cause is and this is a major difference between addressing the origin or the cause aspect of problems.